I woke up one morning uh, very ill and found out, and I, I didn't even go to the, I didn't even go to the hospital, but uh, I uh, had had a stroke, uh, and I was 42. So I asked you about the best time. What about the hardest time? One of the hardest times in your life. Mm. Uh, well, the divorce was by far the worst of the worst. Um, and, uh, I, I, you know, I don't want to say much about it in particular other than the fact that you know, we were married for 25 years and uh, really, you know, everything sounds like a cliche, but it's all true. Mostly fantastic, wonderful times. And then it just stopped working. And then, and to admit that it stopped working and walk away and not live in the same house as my children is the freaking worst. It's just the worst. And, um, and there's that, and so that's that. That's all I want to say about that. Um, but the, I had, a, in 2008, uh, I had a rough time. I, uh, well, I had a very stressful, I, I was working in New Zealand on the, this really fun job and really loved working in New Zealand, but it was a tremendous strain because uh, my kids were, uh, eight and three mm. and you know m and I was gone for a couple of months a couple of three months just a tremendous strain on everybody and uh and when I and I uh, and when I came home uh you know like there was like the stress hangover was still kind of in the air yeah yeah it's not like and, you shake it off like yeah that. and uh and I, I, I mean, I don't want to go into all of the details, but I woke up one morning uh, very ill and found out, and I, I didn't even go to the, I didn't even go to the hospital, but uh, I uh, had had a stroke uh, and I was, um, uh, let's see, I was, what would that make me? 2008? 42. Oh, wait. Were you born in... Well, what I don't know. Nineteen sixty-six to thirty-four yeah. Right. plus. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you so had a yeah, stroke and really you didn't young. Know? I, I yeah, I woke up and I was just really dizzy and I tried to go to the I, in the morning and tried to go to the bathroom and was violently threw up and waited till nine and called the doctors and they said, oh, it sounds like you got an inner ear infection and I called a couple, you know, two doctors and yeah, the inner ear infection and I just stayed in bed and kind of hunkered down for the weekend and got eventually better, but still felt like kind of dizzy. And it's just, it sounds so dumb now. It's just, but I mean, it was my first, but what do you mean it was my like first mortality dumb? scare. You know, no, I did not call the ambulance. Yeah, but it does seem like, why would you think that when yeah. you're 42? Yeah, yeah. Who's, who, would anybody of that cross anybody's mind? I don't, I, unless now it like does. A, unless they're now, hypochondriac. Now it would. I, it doesn't happen twice. You know, like now if I felt that yes. same way, I'd be like, yeah, put me in the back of a pickup truck. I, I, just get me to the hospital. But not back um, then when you're 42 yeah. and we're feeling healthy. And when you bounce back, you know, when I'm like out of bed the next night, you know. Yeah. But even I knew, you know, and it's like inner ear infection. I, I don't think I had anything to eat for a day and a half and when I finally I went downstairs and had a bowl of Cheerios and I took the spoon and I hit the side of my cheek with the spoon like I didn't get the spoon into my mouth and I was like boy this stuff is crazy this inner ear infection but I went was that what did it no I, no, I'm, still no? I, I went I <laughs> no I Monday I just like you know I gotta go see the doctor in person and I went first to the ENT and he's like this is not an inner ear infection I went to my doctor and he said Let's get an MRI. Found I had a stroke. Okay. Yeah. I'll go to the, you know, went to Cedars, did a day and a half of tests. And I, because I'd had a stroke, they had me in the ICU and lots of nurses coming in and double taking and being like, why, why are, what, you know, expecting somebody to be 
with tubes sticking out of them. And instead it's me sitting up in bed, you know, uh, doing the crossword. And uh, so wild. And it turned out what it was was sleep apnea. I had terrible, terrible sleep apnea. They tested me. I mean, I, you know, uh, I'm overweight and that makes my blood pressure high, but, uh, you know, I'm, it's not terrible. And Wait, they found out you had sleep apnea that was the, at that uh, point. At that point. And was that related to the stroke? That's pro, well, they can't say that's what caused the stroke, but every, I mean, uh. I, it was actually kind of in cardiovascular terms, it was kind of, great because i got to be real they really checked under the hood of my heart and my you know arteries and veins and uh said you know you're that's all good you're good yeah there's no plaque there's no buildup and then it was just but i mean i was really falling i was not breathing for like a minute at a time numerous numerous times a night and i guess that just can slow down your blood pressure and then it probably just uh, some blood vessels collapsed uh in my brain oh that makes sense but, I guess. but that was i mean the stro- the 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 stro- that 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 part sucked yeah that whole part of my you know my life yeah. and 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 uh it it was really tough it was really scary and really tough and and then i mean and there was just there was it wasn't just that one thing too it was like other stuff happening at the same time you know, just coincidentally, just coincidentally, and then you know, and like probably a month after I have the stroke, uh, I'm wrestling with my son, my now too large to be thrown over my head son in the pool, trying to throw him over my head, and I dropped him on my own head, and ping, and you know, like, and and they got out of the pool, and I said to my ex-wife, I said like. This is going to be months, and it was months. What, what? What do you mean, ping? I mean, I see you like pointing your neck. What like happened? a a a a, a disc, uh, oh, you know. Oh god! Like a, a a sprained disc in my neck, uh, and ended up having to finally get an epidural, you know, like right in where they put you out and shoot something right mm. into your spine. But it's like I didn't need to have that a month after the stroke. Right. Like I didn't need to like no longer be able to sleep prone. I had to prop up pillows and sleep like, like, you know, basically, you know, like a broom being le- leaned in a corner, you know? Um, Wait, so it was okay? just, it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah. No, he was, he was. Yeah, yeah, because he, he was little and whatever. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I, all I did was drop him on my head yeah. in the pool. I didn't do anything to him. Right. So it wasn't like his head went on no, your head. No, no, it was his, it was right. his body. Got it. You know. So it was only you who took yeah. the blow. Yeah. So it was all just happening at once. This is how things happen in life, yeah. I feel like. They all come at yeah. once. Or the good things sometimes, too, all seem to come at once. They do. Yeah, it is weird. And I mean. I look at my life and there's lots of times when, uh, and especially with work things, uh, and we're putting that to the test these days, but that there's always something that comes along. Like just, you know, you're you're on an ice flow and you're floating and it seems like this flow you're on is going to melt to nothing and, oh, look, another one. And you can just step off. And there have just been plenty of times when, like, a nice paycheck came in like right when, right when it needed to and you know and like oh okay and then you know you can just kind of progress uh it's a little slow right now so i could yeah. use another one of those because right. it's, it's just so I mean, is it hard to, like what do you do how do you the where you are now career-wise like i do you feel and you said it's one of the best times for you yes like do you are there some times where you're like where's that flow like where's that ice flow i'm oh, ready to step uh, well yeah, but it's more it's more just a feeling of uh, put me in coach. Um, and, you know, I mean, I've been doing some guest star stuff, but I, uh, I like making television. I want to make television. I want yeah. somebody to put me in some television. 